Do you know the signs of an approaching depression? It's a question we all should be able to answer. Depression, we've all heard of it, but do we truly understand it? It's not just a case of feeling sad or down for a day or two. Depression is a serious mental health condition that can affect anyone at any time. It's a pervasive feeling of sadness and despair that doesn't go away. It's a constant struggle, a battle that millions of people around the world fight every day. Depression doesn't discriminate. It can affect anyone, regardless of age, gender, or socioeconomic status. It's prevalent, affecting more than 300 million people globally. And while it's common, it's also misunderstood. Many people who suffer from depression are undiagnosed and untreated, left to struggle in silence. The good news is that depression is treatable, and early detection is key. Recognizing the signs of an approaching depression can make all the difference, allowing for timely intervention and treatment. It's not about labeling or stigmatizing, but rather understanding and helping. Depression can manifest in various ways. It's not just about feeling sad. It can affect your thoughts, your emotions, and your physical health. It can change the way you see the world, the way you interact with others, and the way you feel about yourself. But how can we recognize these signs? What should we be looking out for? That's what we're here to explore. Over the next several minutes, we will delve into nine common signs of an approaching depression, from changes in mood and loss of interest, to fatigue and low energy, to sleep disturbances and changes in appetite, to difficulty concentrating and feelings of worthlessness, to physical symptoms and social withdrawal. Remember, Experiencing one or more of these signs doesn't necessarily mean someone is clinically depressed. However, if these symptoms persist for an extended period or significantly interfere with daily functioning, seeking professional help from a mental health provider is advisable. Depression is not a sign of weakness. It's a sign that you've been strong for too long. It's okay to ask for help. It's okay to reach out. You're not alone and help is available. Now let's dive into the nine signs of approaching depression. The first two signs to watch out for are changes in mood and loss of interest. It's like the world suddenly adopts a different hue. The bright, vibrant colors of life may seem to fade, replaced by a monotonous gray that tints every experience. You might notice increasing irritability, a deepening sadness or a hollow feeling of emptiness. These frequent and noticeable mood shifts can be a significant red flag. Simultaneously, things that once sparked joy may lose their luster. It could be your favorite hobby, socializing with friends, or even your work. When the things that used to bring you pleasure no longer do, it's not just a simple case of boredom. This loss of interest is a common symptom of depression, and it's not as simple as just getting back into it. It affects your motivation, your energy, and your overall enjoyment of life. Next, we will discuss fatigue and low energy. Persistent fatigue and low energy can be early indicators of depression. We all know what it's like to feel tired after a long day, but what we're talking about here is different. It's a persistent feeling of exhaustion, a heavy weight that saps your energy and leaves you feeling drained day after day. It's not necessarily about physical tiredness either. It's more like you're running on empty emotionally and mentally. You may find that even the simplest tasks feel like monumental challenges. Things you once did with ease might now take an enormous amount of effort, and it may feel as if you're slogging through mud. This isn't the typical end-of-the-day tiredness. It's a relentless fatigue that doesn't go away with a good night's sleep. And it's not just about feeling tired. It's also about a general lack of motivation. You might struggle to get out of bed in the morning or find you're no longer interested in things you used to enjoy. Now let's move on to sleep disturbances. Sleep disturbances can be a clear sign of an approaching depression. It's not just about having a few restless nights. It's about a consistent pattern that interrupts your daily life. You might find yourself lying awake at night, unable to shut off your thoughts and drift into sleep. This is known as insomnia, and it's a common issue for those dealing with depression. On the flip side, you might be sleeping too much, struggling to get out of bed in the morning, or feeling the need for frequent naps throughout the day. This excessive sleeping, known as hypersomnia, can also be a sign of depression. But why does depression affect our sleep patterns? Well, it's a bit of a two-way street. 
depression can lead to sleep issues, and lack of sleep can exacerbate feelings of sadness or hopelessness. It's important to recognize these patterns and seek help if you're experiencing persistent sleep disturbances. Next, we'll talk about changes in appetite. Significant changes in appetite can accompany the onset of depression. Just like the turning tides, our eating habits can fluctuate dramatically when depression starts to cast its gloomy shadow. For some, depression creates a void, an emptiness that they might try to fill with food. Overeating becomes a coping mechanism, a temporary escape that unfortunately can lead to unwanted weight gain. For others, depression serves a different dish. It suppresses the appetite, making food seem as appealing as a stale piece of bread. The joy of eating, the excitement of tasting different flavors becomes lost. This can result in noticeable weight loss, another physical sign that something's not right. But remember, these changes in eating habits and weight are not about vanity or discipline. They're potential signposts pointing to a deeper struggle. It's crucial to recognize them for what they are, signs of an approaching storm. Difficulty concentrating is another sign of depression that we will discuss next. Depression can affect cognitive abilities and self-perception. It's not just about feeling sad or low, it can also influence how your mind functions. You might find it increasingly difficult to concentrate or make decisions. Simple tasks like following a conversation or remembering a shopping list can become uphill battles. It's as if a fog has descended over your thoughts, clouding your ability to think clearly. Equally important, depression can distort your self-perception, leading to feelings of worthlessness or guilt. You might start blaming yourself for things that aren't your fault or feeling guilty for no rational reason. It's as if a negative filter has been placed over your self-image, coloring your view of yourself in harsh, unkind tones. These symptoms can be subtle, yet they are significant indicators of depression. Acknowledging them is a crucial step towards seeking help and managing your mental health. Physical symptoms and social withdrawal are the last signs we will cover. Depression's reach can extend to our physical health and social life. As we delve deeper into the signs of approaching depression, it's important to note that this condition doesn't just affect our emotions and mental state. It can manifest itself physically, causing discomfort that we might not immediately associate with depression. These physical symptoms can range from persistent headaches to digestive issues. You might find yourself frequently running to the doctor puzzled by these unexplained aches and pains. But the root cause may not be in your body. It could be in your mind. Depression can also cast a shadow over our social interactions. It's not uncommon for individuals heading towards depression to start withdrawing from social activities they once enjoyed. This social withdrawal is more than just declining an invitation to a party or two. It's a consistent pattern of avoiding friends, family and social engagements. It's the feeling of wanting to isolate oneself from the world, to retreat into a shell. Now you might think, well, I'm just an introvert, or I've always been a bit of a loner. And that's okay. But it's crucial to distinguish between a personality trait and a potential symptom of depression. If you notice that you or someone you know has started to isolate themselves more than usual, it might be time to take a closer look. The journey into understanding depression is not an easy one. It's a winding path, filled with subtle signs and symptoms that can be easy to overlook or dismiss. But each step we take in recognizing these signs, each moment we spend educating ourselves and others, brings us one step closer to being able to provide the support and understanding necessary for those who might be heading towards depression. Remember, these signs do not necessarily mean someone is clinically depressed but they are indicators that we should be aware of. Awareness and understanding are the first steps towards fostering a supportive environment for mental health. Together, we can make a difference. To recap, we've discussed the nine signs of approaching depression. These signs can surface in the form of frequent mood changes, a lack of interest in once enjoyable activities, and a persistent feeling of fatigue and low energy. Sleep disturbances, significant changes in appetite and difficulty concentrating can also signal an onset of depression. Moreover, feelings of worthlessness or guilt, physical symptoms like headaches or digestive issues, and social withdrawal are common indicators. It's essential to remember that these signs don't necessarily mean someone is clinically depressed. However, 
If these symptoms persist or interfere with daily life, it's important to seek professional help. Depression is a serious condition that can profoundly impact an individual's life, but with early intervention and the right support, it can be managed effectively. If you or someone you know are experiencing these symptoms, seek professional help. Remember, early intervention can make a significant difference.